up y'all it's your girl Steph aka Ginger Snaps and welcome back to my channel if you're new here girl you're going to love it here we talk about all things life all things fashion all things style all things everything um, and if you got a problem with your man we'll talk about him too don't get it twisted okay this is the channel that you need to be on today I wanted to come bring y'all a video about Icon Swim so this is my first time ordering from Icon Swim um, they're one of those Instagram swim boutiques that you've seen all of the sponsored ads for. So I'm going on a trip in a couple of weeks and I figure why not give them a try. All of the items that I bought are going to be in a size 2X. And for reference, there's three bathing suits and two kimonos. But one of the kimono actually goes with one of the bathing suits I bought. So let's just jump right in. Okay guys, so this is the first swimsuit. I wasn't sure about Icon Swim, but I'm feeling this already. Loving this bright yellow color. It's super, super vibrant. Um, I do like that this has that zip up action. So if somebody comes around and wants to be perverted, I can easily just zip it up and still have that cute mesh look going on. Okay, so get into this. Um, what I will say is that I don't care for the padding in the inside, so I'm not sure. It looks like it's built in, so I don't know if I'll be able to take it out, but knowing me, I'll probably cut a slit and take them out anyway. I don't know. We'll see how it looks um, off camera, but so far I'm liking this look. The back gives you a little cheeky action. I think if you have a bigger butt than me, this would probably be like a thong on you, but... Um, for the Little Booties Matter Committee, I think that is just fine for us. What do you think? Alright, moving on. Okay, so this is the second bathing suit that I bought and I don't know if I'm really feeling this one. Um, I would probably give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, it looks better on the skinnier girls. I thought that this band would be thick all the way through. It kind of thins out. At so my sister had to take a call here, but I just want to jump in and say that I probably would give this bathing suit a 6 out of 10 instead of a 5. It's a little tight. Um, I don't care for the rolls hanging out. Like I said, that band could have been a little thicker just to kind of smooth out that area. But overall, I love the color and I think that um, it will work. It is a cheeky bathing suit as well as the yellow one in the beginning. Yeah, so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this one. 3 out of 10. Like, just not impressed. Like, I, I feel like a oompa loompa is not okay. Um, ooh, this has strings. Oh, no, that's the strings in this. 0 out of 10. Okay? See? I tried to give it a chance. It's just not giving what it's supposed to give. Okay, let's start with this kimono. The kimono, the kimono, kimono, or kimono? Kimono. The kimono is so cute. It's very, very flowy, super, super long. I'm 5'8", and it's dragging the floor, and that's exactly what I wanted it to do. I was scared to get something off of Amazon or something like that because I felt like it was going to be at my kneecaps, and I was going to look stupid. So, A plus to that, 10 out of 10. I love it. I may wear the kimono without the bait in the suit. So, let me just take the kimono off so you can see why it's not given. Okay, look at me. The strings is way too long. I don't need all this string. So you can see on this side, first of all, I had trouble untying it. I had to get help from my sister. Second of all, you can see it's just not laying right without actually untying it and tying it the right way. The, the, the bottoms were supposed to be like highway, so I was assuming they would come up to the waistline, and they don't. So now I kind of got this like weird look look to it. I don't know. I just, it's, it's, I don't like it. The top. The top is very stretchy. So this one definitely fit. It's just showing a lot more of the rolls than I wanted it to show. Um, the bottoms are tight. If you're bigger than me, don't do it. 
I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be able to fit it. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being serious. Um, yeah, I wish this was super high waist, that it came all the way up on the waist and that the top came down a little lower. I will say that it has some like little strings and stuff sticking out. I don't know if you can see it, but like what it came with these strings sticking out. So that tells me that it's probably not going to last very long. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. Check the back out. You see what I mean by not long enough? Yeah, so get into it. Okay, so Icon Swim may have redeemed themselves with this cover-up. I absolutely love this. I had it in my mind that I was going to wear with nothing underneath on the beach because I just feel like I'm that deal. But um, that's not going to work with the nipple rings, okay? This will get caught up. You will be bleeding. So don't be like me. Go ahead and put on at least the bikini top. Lead a bikini bottom to Spongebob, put on a bikini top, and you'll be good to go. Seriously, this is the cutest uh, kimono coverall I've ever had. Um, it's a little thick. I'm not worried about being hot in it because it has all of these openings for the breeze to get through. But it's really, really great quality. And it's dragging the ground, so I know if I put on a wedge heel or some platform sandals, it will be perfect so that it's not getting wet by the pool. Um, it's all, it's like this all around. Let me turn around to the back so you can see it. Can you imagine, like, with a thong bathing suit? Like, this would be everything, like, seriously. I didn't even realize that it had a tie in the front, but you can tie it together to kind of keep it close, or you can untie and wear it out. This bathing suit that I have on is not from Icon Swim. This is actually from Shein. So um, let me know in the comments if you want that link. And I'll send you that link as well. But I'm really feeling this coverall. And this is a size 2X. I honestly could have gotten an extra large. There's a bunch of room in here. So if you're bigger than me, definitely go for this. Okay, guys. So that was the last outfit. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about those three bathing suits and the kimonos. Um, overall, is Icon Swim big girl friendly? Um, if 10 was an absolute yes and 1 was a hell no, I would probably say they're about a good 6. And you just have to be cognizant of your body type and cognizant of what the bathing suit looks like. So that bathing suit with the tie, now I know like if it's not a one piece that's fully covering everything, then it's probably not going to be as flattering on me as it would someone else. Um, the two-piece sets, if it's not super high waist, then I would just ditch it and not get it at all. Keep in mind that the largest size they have on their website is a 2X. So if you're bigger than me, I probably wouldn't chance it unless it's like that black kimono or, you know, something that's super, super high waist that you can kind of mix and match with some pieces that you have at home. And if you're smaller than me, girl, just go for it. I think that um, all of the pieces I will probably wear, I'm going to bring them on vacation either way. So follow me on Instagram to see if you get some pictures from that vacation. Uh, let me know in the comments that you ordered something from Icon Swim. And when y'all head over to uh, Instagram, y'all let them know that I sent y'all. Because they need to hire some more plus size models that actually have some, some roles around here to actually be able to fit in swimsuits. So... Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe because we have plenty of videos coming on a weekly basis. And I'll see you ladies in the next video. Bye.